<laughs> Talk Zone presents the Geek Speak Radio Show with your hosts, Henry and Romo. Your top spot for everything entertainment and pop culture, including TV, movies, comics, casting news, and more. Now, here are your hosts, Henry and Romo. And here we are on the Geek Speak Radio Show. Hello. What were you saying? What's your favorite quote from the film? I mean, there's so many that to choose from. I mean, Bob. But one of the best is, is in 1985. Yeah. Like right before they leave. Yeah. When Doc Brown says, when this hits 88, you're going to see some serious stuff. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't say stuff, of course, but. I mean, I'm mine is. Censoring ro- myself. <laughs> roads, where we're going, we don't need roads. You know, that's, that's just a classic line. And there's so many. Man, that's another really classic line, actually. And what's that? From one character. And it actually carried all through the three ones. Oh, I know what you're talking about. So here, let me play you this. When you hear this, tell me who you think of. You've got a real attitude problem, McFly. You're a slacker. Who do you think of? Mr. Strickland. Yeah, there you go. (laughs) Great character. A lot nicer guy, but Mr. Strickland is on the phone with us. His name, he has a real name. His name is James Tolkien, actor James Tolkien, who played Mr. Strickland in all three of the Back to the Future films. So, James, are you there? I'm here. How are you? We're doing great. Just Having a lot of fun today on Back to the Future Day. I'm very happy to be on Geek Radio, of all things. Yeah, we're definitely geeking out about Back to the Future. <laughs> okay, today. good. I wish I knew the exact definition of that term, geek. It just basically means loving anything, movie, oh, story, whatever it is. God bless the geeks. So I asked, uh, we talked to Bob Gale already and, and Cody Wells, who played Jennifer Parker in the first one. Excellent. We asked them this question that I'm going to ask you is, can you believe that it's been 25 years already? I can believe it, but it's hard to believe. It's hard to believe that after 25 years, there is still this interest and, uh, of, you know, this, this much interest in these movies. It's just amazing. It's wonderful. I mean, there's such a connection with these movies with, with uh, all ages, really, because it does, it is, you no, know, obviously it has uh, Michael J. Fox, and, and that, go, that goes to the young people. But it also has when he sees his parents, and that, that appeals to the, our parents and grandparents. Yes, of course. Absolutely. Can, can you tell, tell, tell us some stories from the set that you remember? Well, you know, I, I remember so many stories. Of the, I mean, the, the, the original, the thing I, I remember most is, first of all, being hired. Uh, and then after seven weeks <laughs> of shooting in which... Uh, in which uh, there was another actor playing playing the part that Michael J. Fox played. He was fired. They stopped production on the entire movie, and they waited for Michael J. Fox to finish his Family Ties uh, series, pulled a, a move by the by Robert Zemeckis and Bob Gale. And in that move, they could have either gone down the toilet or they could have gone on to what they have gone on to become is tremendously successful. So uh, that that's one of the things. Uh, there's so many stories, of course. We actually talked about that with uh, with Bob Gale a few minutes ago. Oh, you um, did. And that was a uh, yeah. The actor was uh, Eric Stoltz that you're talking about. It's all Absolutely. over the uh, was, internet now. He's an excellent actor, incidentally. Yeah, and and uh, I also played an interview with with uh, Michael J. Fox before we started all the interviews today. And he, Michael J. Fox, he mentioned that to him one of the reasons why they think they had to replace Eric Stoltz was, was because Eric just didn't have that comedic timing that was needed for for that role the Marty McFly role well you could you could call it comedic timing you could call it any number of things the fact is he did not have the uh, light airy quality that Michael J Fox brought to the movie and you you either have that or you don't and right. i think that's what made the difference in this movie what do you remember from from his from Michael's first day on the set my, oh, I really don't remember very much, except here's this little guy came on, and he was so bright and so so uh, so talented, and he did everything with ease. You mm-hmm. know, he, he he hardly even looks at the script and he remembers everything. He just comes on and does it. I'm amazed, you know, because I'm a New York actor. I'm a theater actor. I'm used to having weeks of rehearsal and previews and openings. But uh, these, these, these bright young guys, man, certainly impressed me. Was there a lot of ad-libbing, or did he stick pretty close to the no script? No ad-libbing. No, no, no ad-libbing. When you have a script as good as we had, you don't want any ad-libbing. You just want the, uh, the, you want the precise line. And that's what Michael delivered every time. Something I always wanted to ask you, and I just played a clip from it uh, right before we had you on, yeah. is the first scene when we see Principal Strickland and, and uh, Marty's character literally face-to-face. Yes. How many takes did it take, and who, who cracked the smile first? 
Oh, nobody cracked a smile, and I don't think it took more than two or three takes, really. That was, that was, that was, it was set up, and uh, we just do it. Yeah, I always figured that, you know, that one took a while, because, you know, you do get pretty close to him. And yeah, no, 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 two or three takes. I mean, you know, when you ha- you make your preparation, and uh, you just go and do it, and that's, that's the result. And, of course, uh, the director and the cinematographer were right there to capture the moment. So, again, we are talking to James Tolkien, actor who played Mr. Strickland in all three movies. I'm going to take a little break right now. When we come back... We'll talk some more with Principal Strickland. Don't go anywhere. Geek Speak Radio Show will be right back.